Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to share a effective and versatile way of solving GCF and LCM. So first I'm going to start uh, from what is GCF uh, and what is a very common way to solve GCF or what is very fundamental way to solve a GCF. Uh, and I'm going to present a a uh, new way and my favorite way, uh, which I think is a more efficient and versatile way of solving GCF. And also this way can both solve GCF and LCM. So, uh, and uh, yes, I'm also going to cover uh, how to solve uh, LCM uh, start from what is the definition of LCM and what is a, a fundamental way to find a LCM and compare this fundamental way with the way I like it. So let's go ahead and start. All right, this is the definition of GCF. Uh, so which is very simple. The highest number that divides exactly into two or more numbers. Uh, so you probably uh, can see uh, those are very simple examples such as uh, you are asked to solve GCF of 15 and 20. Uh, obviously, uh, the first step is to find all the factors of 15, and the second step is to find all the factors of 20. And then you can pick up the common factors of 15 and 20. So which are 1 and 5. And then from this list, you can find the greatest common factor of both 15 and 20 is 5. So it's not that difficult. Uh, so you can. Uh, have another example uh, which is 8 and uh, 12. Uh, for 8 you can easily uh, get a, a list of factors uh, 1, 2, 4, 8. And for 12 um, the same way you can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So from these two lists and then you can get a list of common factors of 8 and 12, which are 1, 2, 4. And compare these all these factors, it's not difficult to get the greatest common factor of 8 and 12 is 4. So probably you can generalize this very fundamental way and a very useful way with this, three, uh, with this four step. The first step is find the factor of the first number. Uh, the second step is to find the factors of the second number. And then the third step is to find the common factors of both numbers. And then the fourth step is to find the greatest common factor. And then you are done. So it's, it's, not, it's, it's not that difficult, right? It's uh, easy and fun. Uh, yes, uh, it is easy. It is uh, found for the GCF of two numbers, two simple numbers. What if these two numbers uh, are very large? Or if you have a list of number uh, numbers instead of two numbers, uh, such as uh, this list, uh, or you have a list of uh, algebra uh, expressions uh, like this you are asked to figure out uh, GCF how you are going to do are you going to use this traditional way or you can find some uh, other ways uh, which is uh, easier and more uh, efficient uh, <clears throat> so uh, let's uh, let me introduce uh, uh, my favorite way to you uh, I don't know what, uh, how to call this way, uh, but uh, after I demonstrate to you, and then you can find a, a good name for this uh, uh, 
uh, method. Uh, let's start from the first one, which we already uh, used as an example uh, to start with. So first of all, in this way, what you need to do is write down uh, these two numbers or this list of numbers you want to get the GCF from. Uh, so for this, uh, for this one, it is 8 uh, and 12. So once you get these two numbers, right, you have a L-shaped uh, line. And then uh, on this side, on this left side, what you need to do is to find a common factor, any common factor you can think of except one. You don't need to do one, right? Uh, and then, so look at this. Uh, probably the easiest one is two. Let's put two right here. Uh, and then after we get uh, this uh, common first common factor, and then you try to use the, this number divided by this. What you get is four, you put it right here, and then do the same thing for the 12, and then you get six right here. And then once you, uh, once you get, once you get this uh, second layer, uh, and then you compare these two numbers, and then you try to do the same thing. What is the common factor you can get out from here? So what I can uh, do is to get another two, to extract another two from these two numbers. And what you left right here is two, and then what you have right here is three. So can you further extract anything from these two numbers? Uh, probably. Uh, no, except one. So we don't, uh, one is not uh, very useful to get the common uh, GCF. So we don't need to do one. So uh, and, uh, I think this is the end of this extraction. And after you confirm that this is the end of this extraction, what you need to do is just get these numbers and then times these numbers together and then you get the GCF of these two numbers. So, and then what you have right here is uh, this uh, two times uh, two, and then you have uh, what you can get is four. So you get the same GCF number uh, as what we demonstrated previously. So right here, so this is what we expect, okay? Uh, so. Let's see what uh, how this how this new method work for the three for a list of three number. So uh, as I mentioned, you just do the same thing. You get three numbers uh, right here. Uh, you have twelve, and then you have twenty four, uh, and then you have thirty six. So what you need to do is the same thing, uh, and then. You can just start from uh, the easiest uh, factor. Uh, I usually start from two, uh, if they are all even numbers. And then you have, right here, you have six, and then you have 12, uh, you have 18 right here. And then in the, sec in the second layer, you do the same thing. Uh, they are all even numbers, uh, you get two. You, you can extract two again, and then what you left right here is three. Uh, you get uh, what you left right here is six, and then this is nine. And then uh, you compare these three numbers, what you can get out from here, or what you can extract from here. So yeah, three. So, and then you have one, two, uh, three left. So again, so you get these numbers on this left side and times them together. And then you get the GCF for these three numbers, uh, which is 2 times 2 times 3, and then you get 12. So if you have four numbers, you do the same thing. You have more than four numbers, you do the same thing. Okay? Even you have algebraic expressions like this. So let me show you how we can do this. Let me zoom in a little bit. 
put it right here. So the first step is to get uh, uh, the two expressions write down, uh, which is a uh, square uh, a two uh, b five uh, and then c four uh, and then a two b three then c five and then you get the l shaped line so um, I strongly encourage you to do this step by step uh, so although you can extract uh, uh, ABC uh, for one step but if uh, to avoid errors is better to get uh, step by step so let's focus on a first what we can do uh, to uh, or what we can extract from this term and this term so obviously the common factor uh, one of the common factors will be uh, a square so I put a square right here uh, so once we get a square what left for this expression that will be b5 and then c4 uh, and then this one will be b3 and c5 b3 and c5 and then you compare uh, these two uh, and then what you can get is b3 uh, and then from this you have b square and then you don't change anything for c this is a b3 is extracted and then you left c5 and then the next step you can get uh, out c how many uh, how many c's you can get out totally you can get four c uh, c the fourth power and what you have right here is b square and then you have c so this is the end of the extraction uh, obviously what you can uh, get for this gcf uh, let me write down GCF is going to be a uh, square times uh, B 3 times uh, C uh, 4 uh, so the uh, this is the uh, GCF for these uh, two expression so uh, it's a very uh, easy uh, and a very uh, versatile way to get the GCF uh, probably I can uh, give a uh, one more example uh, for this uh, method uh, so let me write down uh, a little bit different uh, which is uh, 2x square and then x square plus x uh, and then x cubic plus 2x the same thing you get uh, x and then you have 2x and then you have x plus 1 and then you have x square plus 2 so can you extract further from the second layer probably no right so obviously this is the G, uh, GCF so that's the way to figure out the GCF so what how is this way can be used to calculate uh, LCM the answer is yes before I show you how I want to review what is LCM first 
So LCM, the definition is the smallest positive number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. So very similar to the uh, GCF, but this time is the multiple, and then the smallest the multiple, uh, the smallest the common uh, multiple of two or more numbers. So uh, again, uh, so this is the two common examples. So I'm not not going to go through this step by step. But after you doing this, you can generalize this uh, very fundamental way. Uh, with these four steps. The first is find multiples of the first number, and then the second find the multiples of the second number, and then the third step is to find common multiples of both numbers, and then the fourth one is to get the least common multiple. You're done. Okay. Okay. So back to back to the way I showed you what you need to do for the LCM. You just do the same thing. You just do the same thing. But this time, you're not only get the numbers on the left side. So what you need to do is times all these numbers outside of this uh, extraction, outside of this extraction. These four numbers together, these six numbers together, all these five terms together you times together you will get the lcm so and then this one this one this one this one times together you will get the lcm so uh let me quickly uh, do this together with you so right here uh so what you have uh, let me write down uh lcm all eight and twelve so that will be uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and that will be 24. So um, maybe I can uh, do one more right here. So this, uh, this LCM is. x well i do 2 times x squared times x plus 1 and x squared plus 2 and then this this is the lcm of these three uh, the same method you can apply to times all these together and then you time all these together you get the lcm for this one and this one respectively so well uh again uh i think this is a, a very uh versatile and efficient way of solving uh gcf and lcm so uh, let me summarize this uh, so the first step is to list the numbers or the expressions you want to get the GCF or LCM. That's the first step. And then the second step, you do this L-shaped line, and then you extract those common numbers uh, layer by layer until you cannot find any common numbers. So to this point, you are ready to get the GCF or LCM. To get the GCF, you just get all the factors on the left side, times them together, you get the GCF. For the LCM, you times all the factors outside of this l shape. Uh, L-shaped extraction, I will say. So, and then you get that you get that uh, uh, number that is LCF. All right. So, this is the way 
uh, I liked most to get this GCF and LCF. So try to practice. If you like this way, try to practice, and then you will find finding GCF and LCM is fun. Thank you.